Meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And we are starting off colder this morning than yesterday morning. Yesterday we were in the 40s. Today we've dropped into the 30s. So about six degrees colder here in Dayton. It is eight degrees colder in Columbus, six degrees colder in Lima, and four degrees colder in Cincinnati. So our current temperatures have been in the 30s. We really haven't moved much all morning. We've been sitting pretty steady. 36 in Urbana in Springfield, 37 for Minster, Troy, and Greenville, and 38 in Dayton. We have a wind chill that makes it feel closer to 30 degrees if you are heading out early. Uh, even if you're heading out later this afternoon, it's still going to feel chilly. Highs are going to be in the mid and upper 40s. 46 in Sydney, Urbana, 48 in Troy. Southern counties also in the upper 40s. 47 for Xenia, Dayton, Springboro. 46 back towards Eaton and Richmond. So a chilly feel all day long. And we're adding in those occasional showers. We have a pretty good chance of scattered to even numerous showers as we head through the day. So at times... Uh, those showers are going to be around, and at times we'll see some breaks in the rain. Uh, that may happen occasionally in the afternoon. There is also the potential that we'll hear a rumble of thunder, have some hail or grapple. Uh, so it is just going to be an interesting weather day. A look at our pollen report. Tree pollen has come back down to a low level, so the cool, rainy weather has at least done some good, dropping the pollen count. Our grass pollen also at a low level now. And this will stay in check tomorrow, but going into Sunday and next week, we're going to see these uh, elevate again. So just be aware that uh, it's not over just yet. It's going to get a little worse before it gets better. A check of live Doppler 2 HD radar has some of that light precipitation. We still could have a few snowflakes mixing in over around New Paris. So that potential will continue through at least late morning before we generally just have rain showers for the afternoon. But again, some of that hail or grapple mixes in as this all continues to rotate through. Here's future track, starting us off with a snow or rain shower. Those will change over to rain showers going through the afternoon. Maybe a rumble of thunder occurs for the drive home at 5. Coverage will decrease a little bit into the evening, which would be good news for the Dragons home opener. But we do still have some snow in the forecast overnight. So late tonight into Saturday morning is when this starts. And this will continue through about lunchtime tomorrow, and then we'll see rain mix in with it and eventually it'll taper off during the evening hours. So we are expecting maybe even some light accumulation as some of that snow rolls through through the first half of Saturday, generally a trace up to a half inch, and that'll be mainly on the grass or elevated surfaces. Here's your forecast today. Morning rain or snow will have some afternoon rain showers, chance of thunder, a high of 47. Overnight down to 34, rain will change to snow, and it is going to be cold, and tomorrow's another chilly day with snow showers in the morning changing to rain in the afternoon, our high just 44 on Saturday. Sunday, a cold morning, but a really nice afternoon with a high of 60 and lots of sunshine. And then we start to see rain chances again next week, but we continue to warm up. We'll be in the 70s Tuesday and Wednesday.